Hey guys, YouTube Worm Nerd here. Alright, and now here I am with another horror movie review. And now, next up, here I am with a review for From Dusk Till Dawn. So, um, yeah, so, uh, this movie uh, was released in 1996, and I thought that overall, this film, I thought this was pretty good, yeah? I mean, yeah, this is, like, this seems to be, like, kind of like a different horror film than, like, a lot of other horror films out there, because, um, like, uh, just, I mean, this film just seems to really be split into two halves, and, yeah, they really are, like, uh, just seem like two totally different halves, like, <coughs> the first half of the film really doesn't seem like a horror movie, it really seems to be, like, more of, like, some, like, uh, some, like, a uh, suspenseful, uh, vigilante, uh, horror movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It really just seems to be, like, one of those kinds of movies. And then, yeah, then in this, this like, second half is really, like, where it to takes a totally different turn, and it really just seems to be, like, a totally different movie. So, yeah, so it really, like, is, like, really split into, like, uh, two totally different, uh, styles like that through the two halves. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm sure a lot of you probably do know about this, uh, film. Like, uh, of course, like, uh, this is a, uh, Robert Rodriguez movie. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And, like, uh, the story for this movie is that, like, um, it's about, like, these, uh, two, uh, criminal brothers that are, like, uh, trying to, um, get, like, to cross into Mexico. <laughs> and, yeah. And along the way, like, they are, are like, uh, like, uh, holding some people at gunpoint, and they end up, like, uh, taking a family hostage in order to get into Mexico, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and in the movie, like, we do kind of, like, learn, like, about the two brothers on, like, uh, what their history is, and, and how, like, um, they really are, like, a fugitives with the, um, police and the FBI after them, yeah, yeah, and like I said, like, uh, it really just, just seems to be really split into two halves, because, yeah, for the first half of the film, it really is just, like, the brothers really just, like, uh, um, threatening people and holding them at gunpoint and just actually, like, uh, killing some people, yeah, and, yeah, and as I just said, like, they end up, like, uh, threatening a family and taking them hostage to help them across into Mexico, yeah, yeah. And then the second half is really, like, where it takes a totally different turn. Yeah. In the second half, we really do, like, see it really becoming a horror movie. And we, like, see, like, the, like a whole bunch of monsters is after them and stuff. <coughs> so, yeah. So, it takes a totally different <coughs> turn in the second half of this movie. Yeah. So, yeah, and yeah, and like I said, like, uh, this is, like, a Robert Rodriguez movie, yeah, and I honestly really haven't seen, like, a whole ton of, uh, Robert Rodriguez movies, like, uh, the ones that, like, I really am the most familiar with are the Spy Kids movies, yeah. The rest of Robert Rodriguez's movies, like, I'm really not too familiar with, I haven't really seen, like, a lot of, like, uh, Robert Rodriguez's, um, adult movies, so, yeah, when it comes to really uh, ranking this movie among uh, Robert Rodriguez's movies, I really can't really um, say how well this film really does rank between, like, uh, some of Robert Rodriguez's other, like, uh, more popular films. Because, yeah, I haven't really seen a lot of his movies. <coughs> so, yeah, so I can't really, like, uh, make that comparison. But, yeah, as is, like, this is still overall a pretty good movie, and I did enjoy it. Like, uh, yeah, this movie does star... Um, um, uh, 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 it stars uh, George Clooney, uh, Quentin Tarantino, Harvey Keitel, uh, Juliet Lewis, and Ernest Liu. Yeah. And yeah, and the performances in this movie are all pretty good. Yeah. And of course, like, uh, this film was also written by uh, Quentin Tarantino as well. Yeah. And there's a scene in the movie that really does, like, uh, show you that this was uh, written by Quentin Tarantino. I'm sure a lot of you do know the scene that I'm talking about, but yeah. Yeah, I'll talk more about that in a, that later on. Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, with this film, 
like uh, being a uh, Robert Rodriguez movie, it does have uh, some appearances from like uh, people that you do normally see in Robert Rodriguez's movies. Like, uh, yeah, this film like uh, does have appearances from uh, Cheech Marin in uh, actually like three different uh, appearances in this movie. Like he like plays three different characters in this movie. Yeah. And you also do have an appearance from uh, Danny Trujillo, as well as uh, an appearance by uh, Salma Hayek. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Those are like uh, three of the uh, actors that like are normally in uh, Robert Rodriguez movies. Yeah. So it, I guess it is like uh, appropriate that they are in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, it is overall a pretty good movie. Like in the second half, like when we do see like the monsters, like. Gosh, I mean, it does get, like, pretty violent, and honestly, like, some of the imagery is kind of graphic, yeah? So, yeah, so I'm not sure if, like, uh, I really recommend this movie, like, for, like, the people that really do seem, like, the squeamish type, yeah. If you're, like, more squeamish, then I don't know if, like, you necessarily do want to watch this movie, because it does have, like, some pretty graphic imagery in it, yeah? But, yeah, it is still overall a pretty good movie. If you can, if you can, like, uh, uh, take the like that kind of stuff, and if you do like uh, the kind of a story that this movie does tell, then yeah, I think you really will get like a lot of enjoyment out of this movie. So yeah, so not really much else I can really say about it, but yeah, it is a good movie. It does, it is really like split into two parts, and yeah, and when it does get the second part where it, you really see the monsters, like it is like uh, pretty violent, yeah. So yeah, and I guess that is like what a lot of horror movie fans do want to see. When they're seeing like uh, these kinds of movies, yeah. So I do guess like this movie does serve its purpose like that. So yeah. So I guess I would give the film. Um, I guess I would give it a three point two five stars out of four. So yeah. So it is overall a pretty enjoyable movie. All right. So yeah. So. I guess I won't waste any uh, more time about it. So, yeah, so I'll, I'll just uh, start talking about the movie. Yeah, so, like, so uh, the film does, like, center around these uh, two, like, uh, fugitive uh, criminal brothers, uh, Seth and Richie Gecko. Seth is played by George Clooney, and uh, Richie is played by uh, Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. It shows how, like, uh, they rob banks, and then as they're, like, uh, holding up a liquor store, they end up, <coughs> um, uh, killing a Texas Ranger, Roll McGraw. Then, yeah, then in a shootout, they also end up killing um a, the clerk at the store. <coughs> in a pretty violent way. Like, as the um clerk is, like, returning fire at them, and then, like, they end up, uh, like, uh, shooting some of the liquor bottles, and then, like, uh, and, uh, Causing a fire. So, yeah, so it's a pretty brutal way that the clerk ends up being done and killed. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah. And then it shows that it feels like uh, they're hiding at um, an inn room. Yeah. And it shows how, like, uh, they end up, like, uh, kidnapping um, a bank murderer, a, a bank clerk, rather. Yeah. Then, yeah. Then, as um, Seth, uh, left the inn to get food. Richie ended up, like, uh, raping and murdering the clerk. Yeah. Yeah. Men, like, it shows, like, how in this film, like, uh, Richie is really, like, uh, more of a pervert. Because, yeah, we do, like, see how, like, uh, he really is, like, always, like, looking at women and just, like, staring at them inappropriately. Yeah. And we do kind of, like, uh, see, like, the kind of person that he really is. Yeah. And he really is just, like, a like, uh, real pervert. Yeah. Yeah. And then it shows how, like, there's this father, or uh, Jacob Fuller, with his two kids, uh, uh, Scott and Kate, as they're uh, on vacation in their RV. Yeah. And yeah. And it's also like, uh, said how, like, um, uh, Jacob's uh, wife isn't dead. Yeah. Yeah. And as they're, like, are at the end, like, uh, Seth and uh, Richie end up uh, kidnapping them and basically like force them into smuggling them into Mexico. Yeah, and it's like a uh, rev- explained in this film how like uh, Seth and Richie apparently like are like a uh, 
like uh, they are like are trying to get into Mexico to um, um uh, hide in a sanctuary that's known as um El Rey, which is like a um a place for safety for fugitives. It was with an admission fee of thirty percent of everything that they have. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, and then um, like uh, as uh, they eventually ended up uh, arriving in Mexico, they then ended up um, like uh, coming to like this strip club in the desert. That's uh, known as a uh, Titty Twister. Yeah, yeah, then yeah, and uh, and uh, Seth and Richie like uh, discuss how like uh, at dawn they'll be met by uh, their contact Carlos. Yeah, then yeah, and then in the in uh the club, like we do, kind of like see how like it is like a uh, like uh we see like the people there, Aaron. Yeah, and you can kind of like uh see how like uh it is like kind of a a different sort of club. Yeah, and yeah, and this was like a and yeah in this uh club um, um uh, Danny Trujillo uh, played uh the bartender. Yeah. Yeah, then yeah, and uh, yeah, then of course, like uh, during this whole thing in the strip club, then we got like this uh, scene, which is probably uh, the scene that this movie is probably the most well known for, where like uh, there's like the entertainment with um, a stripper named uh, Santanico Pandemonium, who's played by uh, Salma Hayek, and uh, yeah, Salma Hayek, like uh, in this scene, she did look uh, pretty fabulous, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and yeah, and you just, like, heard, like, the band playing, and then, yeah, you just, like, saw her, like, dancing on stage, and eventually made her way to the table that, um, Richie, uh, Seth, and, uh, uh the Fullers were sitting at, yeah, and yeah, and then you had, like, the thing where, like, she, like, uh, took the bottle of whiskey, or whatever it was, and then just, like, uh, poured it down her leg where it dripped down her foot into, um, Richie's, uh, mouth, and then, yeah, then you just, like, uh, saw him suck in the toes, yeah, so, yeah, of course, like, uh, yeah, that is, like, the scene that really does, like, uh, show you this really was written by, uh, Quentin Tarantino, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then, yeah, then, uh, yeah, then after, like, the whole dancing scene, then, like, uh, <coughs> As, like, uh, the, uh, employees for the bar, then, like, were, like, trying to, um, throw, um, Seth and, uh, Richie out, and, like, uh, Seth and Richie got into a fight with the employees, yeah, then, yeah, then during this fight, it was then revealed how, like, uh, all the employees at the bar were, like, these, uh, vampire-like monsters, yeah, and you just, like, saw them transform into, like, these, like, uh, vampire like creatures yeah and it, then she it just like showed them like a uh, unleashing attacks on most of the patrons yeah and then we're showing how like a uh, uh, Santanico uh, was also a vampire creature yeah and it showed how then like a uh, she ended up uh fighting uh Richie <laughs> yeah and then yeah then uh yeah the bite ended up uh killing Richie yeah and then, yeah, then, as uh, she also then uh, tried to attack Seth, Seth then was able to kill her by, like, uh, impaling her with a chandelier. Yeah. And it showed how, like, most of the patrons were killed, and the only ones that were left were uh, Seth, Jacob, Kate, Scott, uh, a biker named Sex Machine, and a Vietnam War veteran named Frost. Yeah. And then it showed how, like, everyone, including, uh, Richie, who ended up being, um, uh, reborn as vampires, yeah. yeah. But then, yeah, but then Seth and everyone else were just forced to kill all of them, yeah. Then, yeah. And then as an army of, uh, vampires in bat form were assembling outside of the bar, then, uh, like, uh, they all then, uh, locked themselves inside, but then... 
after like a sex machine ended up being bitten and becoming a vampire, then he like uh, ended up uh, attacking both uh, Frost and Jacob, and then eventually sex machine ended up being uh, thrown through the door, but then due to that, the vampire bats then ended up entering, and then Frost ended up like turning into a vampire, yeah. Then yeah, then uh, and, uh, uh, Seth, Kate, and Scott then like a uh, uh, bolted into um, a storeroom. Yeah, and then, and of course like uh, Jacob was uh, presumed to have uh, turned into a vampire as well and um, died. But it was revealed that like uh, he still was alive, just injured from the bite. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah, then they ended up like uh, fashioning some weapons from truck cargo. Oh, that have been looted by the vampires from past victims. Yeah, and then, yeah, then they knew that they had to use these weapons to uh, destroy the vampires. Yeah, and then they just, like, uh, uh, made, like, all these weapons, which included, like, a stake mounted on a uh, pneumatic drill, as well as a crossbow and holy water. Yeah. yeah. And, but, yeah, and before they actually went to, f to battle to fight the vampires... Jacob, like, knowing that, like, he would become a vampire due to the bite, he, like, made, like, uh, Seth, Scott, and Kate promise that when he changes to kill him, and, of course, like, uh, Scott and Kate were reluctant to actually kill their father, but, yeah, he made them, like, promise that they would, yeah. Then, yeah, then as they, then, uh, launched their assault on the vampires, then, uh, it showed them, like, how Sex Machine mutated into, like, this, like, a uh, rat-like creature and attacked Seth, but eventually ended up being killed, yeah. And then eventually Jacob then ended up becoming a vampire, and then Scott being face-to-face -face with his dad, like, he was just very hesitant to kill his own dad, but then due to that, like, Jacob ended up uh, biting Scott. Huh, yeah. But then, yeah, then eventually Scott ended up uh, killing his dad, yeah. But then, yeah, then the other creatures then started to devour him. And as uh, Kate was looking on, uh, Scott just uh, begged uh, Sarah to kill, I mean, Kate to kill him. And so then, yeah, Kate ended up uh, killing uh, Scott as well. And then as uh, Kate and Seth were then, like, just surrounded by the rest of the creatures, as they were, like, uh, shooting in, in the walls of the building, it showed how, like, the... Uh, morning light was starting to, like, uh, enter through, yeah, and then, yeah, then as they just were, like, uh, shooting more and more holes into the walls, walls with more light coming through, the vampires then were just, like, backing away, and then eventually, um, um, Carlos and his bodyguards arrived at the club, and then they ended up uh, blasting the doors open, which let, like, like, even more sunlight into, uh, the, a bar, and then all the vampires ended up being killed. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and then with uh, Carlos recovering, uh, Seth and Kate, like uh, Seth, of course, was just very unhappy with Carlos that he wanted to meet them at that bar. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, then Seth just like uh, negotiated a smaller tribute for his admission to El Rey. Yeah, and yeah, and then yeah, then uh, both uh. Seth and Kate apologized to one another for losing their families. Yeah. Then, yeah. Then, as uh, Kate was then asking Seth if, like, he, like, wanted company to El Rey. Okay. Like, uh, like, uh, uh, Seth just, like, said how, um, like, uh, he didn't need her to come with him. Him. Be out of concern for her safety, and then, yeah, then he just, like, uh, gave some cash to Kate, and then, yeah, then, uh, uh, Kate, then, like, uh, went back, like, uh, left in the RV with, uh, Seth, like, uh, of course, uh, leaving with, uh, Carlos, yeah, and, yeah, and then it showed, like, as Kate was driving off, it showed, like, like, the back of the, uh, Titty Twister building, and then it showed how, like, the building was actually, he, like, a top of an eight-level, uh, partially buried Aztec temple, yeah, so this would explain, like, uh, why these, uh, the creatures were inhabiting this place, yeah, and yeah, and that's how it ended. So, yeah, so, like I said, 
like a, this is like a pretty good film. Like the second half really does get pretty violent. Like when it actually does like reveal the creatures, it does get really violent. Like some some of the imagery does get like pretty graphic. Like, like how these like uh, creatures do die. Like they like uh, catch a blaze at uh, point. Yeah, and yeah, and there's this point where like a uh, one of the creatures like their head explodes, and you just see like their eyes just like a. Uh, like, bursting into pus, yeah? So, yeah, so, there is some, like, uh, pretty graphic imagery for, like, how the creatures die in this film. So, yeah. So, like I said, like, uh, if you were, like, squeamish and, like, uh, if you got, like, a uh, bad stomach for that kind of stuff, then, yeah, then this movie probably won't be for you, yeah? But if you do, if you can handle this kind of stuff, and if you really are, like, into these kinds of movies, then, yeah, and then you will get some, uh, quite a bit of enjoyment out of this film, I think. So, yeah, so, I would recommend this film, but it all just depends on, like, uh, how much you can really take, if you are, if you can actually handle the graphic imagery that this movie has. But, yeah, it is worth a watch. Yeah. So, like I said, I give the film 3.25 stars out of 4. Alright. So, yeah. So, I guess that's the best way I can put it. Alright. So, yeah. So, I guess this is all I really have to say about it. Alright, so yeah, so this is a my review of From Dusk Till Dawn. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, yeah, and stay tuned tomorrow. Tomorrow is Halloween, and yeah, and I've got one more of these uh, horror movie reviews coming tomorrow on Halloween. So yeah, so stay tuned for that coming tomorrow, alright? But yeah, but I hope you guys did enjoy this review, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.